Hello everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV. Today I'm going to show you around the ROG 14TH2. The TH stands for toy hauler and two means it has two tip outs. That's right, there is a 14TH1, so if you're looking for maybe a little less sleeping, that might be one to take a look at. Now this trailer weighs 2633 and that is with almost every option. I mean, the only two options it doesn't have is the gray exterior option, probably doesn't change the weight, and a lithium battery option. You will have a battery on here, so 2633 plus a battery, that's gonna be a true weight on this trailer. That's important if you're looking at towing this with a lightweight vehicle. The length, 16 foot, six inches, so, Fairly small toy hauler, but it's got lots of great details in it. Remember, features and options, they can always change. So be sure to take a look at the details if you're checking out this trailer at your local dealer. Now let's head inside and start checking it out. Since this is a small toy hauler, let's start with the floor space. It's 11 foot four inches long and five foot nine inches wide. You can see we've got built-in tie downs for all the gear that you wanna put in here. The kitchen right up front has so many features. We'll start just on the right here. There is a two burner stove, glass top just flips up. And if you're not using the stove, of course, it's gonna be counter space, but you have great counter space to the left here. I love this solid surface look, kind of a granite look and the sink with the single sprayer, very residential feeling and works great if you've got maybe uh, larger water jugs or things like that that you'd like to fill. This trailer does have a 26 gallon fresh water tank. That's huge for a trailer this size. So once you get past the countertop underneath here, you'll see that there's a microwave. Um, it is down low, but I think it's great down low because you'll want storage up here at the top. The Everchill, let's open it up from this side. This is a 12 volt refrigerator, so it's gonna cool off in about two hours and is very efficient with the battery power. So great for going off grid and not being at a campsite. You know, so many features that are included in this trailer are built for that because you know, that's great for a toy hauler. You're going to be carrying dirt bikes, kayaks, you know, all those things that are great for adventures that are maybe off the highway outside of a campsite. The storage up here, it is about 18 inches to the back of this, a little bit of a curve at the top, but not much. I do like the nylon carpeted sides of it. So nothing is going to rub or get get messed up that way going down the road and it is open all the way across. Another thing I want to point out, this is an aluminum cabinet. This camper doesn't have any wood in it at all. So not in the cabinetry, not in the outside build. It is an aluminum cage frame and even aluminum cabinetry. I like the flush latches, just make it nice clean look there. The lights underneath here, they go on and off right here. And next to that, the main lights in the cabin. As you come across, you've got the 12 volt refrigerator here because you always want to put a switch on it. That is going to keep this from coming on if you didn't want it to. So you flip on the refrigerator right there. There is a porch light on the outside and underglow lights. What does that mean? Well, there are underglow lights on all four corners of this trailer. They're an orange light, but that's really going to be great if you're out in the wilderness, pitch black, you can see where the steps are. You can see the outline of your camper without having this glaring porch light. Over here, uh, USB charging ports, water pump, and fresh tank monitor. So if you push this down, let me see if I can show you. It'll show you how much water is in your tank. You know, if you are off the grid, that's good to know. Over here on this side, you'll see switches, uh, four different switches for power ports. This trailer has got four built-in power ports on the outside, 
where you can add additional lights or additional features and plug it right in and these switches will control it. You know, so often these trailers are uh, designed to be versatile, but you'll have a specific thing in mind that you want to do with it. You can build it out. The wiring is already there for you and the switches. Back to this left side, the JBL stereo. It is an AM, FM, Bluetooth, of course. And you do have the power fan right here in the ceiling. That's just a great feature here. You're going to have tents that can be opened up, doors that can be opened up. You just want to keep the air moving on this end of the trailer. On top of this storage is the converter. Now that, of course, is going to take any shore power and convert it into 12 volt. It's also going to give you access to the breakers and fuses inside. Right here, let me show you this cabinet over here. You've got a light right at the top and then the hanging rods. Huge space in here. It is over two feet deep and over two feet wide. Shelves, lots of backpacks, gear, all kinds of things could fit in there. Underneath, you do have vents here because you have a forced air furnace. It's 20,000 BTU, so it's going to keep this area nice and toasty. Right behind me, the 36 inch television. Now it is on a swivel, so you can pull it out, face it whatever direction works for you, and lock it in. That way, you don't have to worry about your television moving if the trailer goes and it's still swiveled out for viewing. Down below, this is the controls for the furnace. Uh, just And down there, you're going to see the carbon monoxide and the LP detector. Pretty standard in trailers. Right up here, the 11,000 BTU air conditioner. Now, this is one of the options right here, but I don't know, we're in Texas, so that's a really nice feature to keep this nice and cool. 11,000 BTU on the roof right there, and it's going to weigh a little over 100 pounds. So that is part of that 2633 weight. I know on a trailer this size, weight is important, so that's why I mentioned it again. Up on the sides, you'll see uh, the shelves that they've put in. These are, again, metal shelves with the elastic bands on the front. Nice place to just put all of that gear that you want to access very quickly. So you've got it on both sides. Now let's talk about these tip outs. This mattress is 44 inches wide, 77 inches long. That is a nice size mattress, not quite a queen, but very comfortable for two adults. And the next question that I always get is about the weight. They're held up by this cord, very simple to put up and down. There is nothing outside that you have to brace up. And so they simply lay down, put the bar in right here to open it up and it can hold up to 1100 pounds. So don't have to worry about weight on these, simple to set up, simple to put away. You also have a cover that we've tucked under here. And what I like to do is to zip up this cover and then fold it in from the outside. That way the mattress, all of the tent fabric stays inside that packet and out of the way. Another great thing there is that with that cover on it, you don't have to worry about anything rubbing up against it when you're traveling. Uh, it's not going to damage your mattress or be able to get to it. If you don't need to put a tip out out, no problem. It's out of your way. Very nice feature the way that's laid out. The table is set up on one side of this tip out and it swivels around in any direction. It's really very versatile. It's a metal top table, so it's not going to have any issues with getting dirty. And it is something that you can remove completely if you don't want the table in here at all. Just undo the latch at the bottom and lift it right off. It's going to come out and you can store it someplace else and have two open beds if that's what you need. Let's look at the end of this trailer. There are a few more things to show you. You do have switches here. If you're walking in the end, you'll want to turn the lights on right away so you can get these end lights turned on. And the other one is loading lights on the back. Now this area, you've got 68 inches height here trying to get in the door. And that is with the optional screen. I don't know why anyone would get this trailer without a screen, except for the reason that it's going to give you two more inches in height. 
And if that two inches is really important to you, you will want to not get the screen option. But the screen just pulls down from the back and creates this nice screen room inside the trailer. All right, I think I've covered most of the inside. You do have a 2,500 pound weight limit on this ramp, but that's plenty for most anything I can think of that you'd be putting inside this trailer. Let's take a walk around the outside and take a look at a few of those features. Right here, you'll see the vent, how these vents are standard and that's just gonna help air to flow in and out of the trailer while it's going down the road. Just under here, there is a spray port that is not gonna have a hot and cold handle on it, but it is gonna be a spray port if you needed to hose off maybe uh, your dirt bikes or anything like that, maybe your feet at the beach. Next to that, that is the inlet for filling the water tank, 26 gallons, and the city water fill right next to it if you wanted to go direct to your faucet. Let's walk around the front of this here. All right. This ladder on the side is gonna access that full walk-on roof. This is an option. You can uh, forego the ladder if you didn't feel like you needed this. Another option is gonna be the roof rack on the top. It is an option that has four crossbars. It's very versatile, extremely sturdy, great for canoes. You could put a rooftop tent up there. You certainly could look up there for adding more storage, uh, just about anything. So you have to have that roof rack if you want this side ladder, but it makes sense. They kind of go together, right? Let's take a look at the storage in here. You do have a storage compartment. This is where your battery will go. And with this trailer, because this isn't a vented box, you can't put a standard wet cell battery in there. That is generally what dealers will put in a trailer. This trailer has to have an AGM or a lithium. Another option from the factory is a lithium battery. It can always be added at the dealership as well. And if you don't ask for the lithium, they're probably gonna put an AGM battery in here simply because it's less expensive. So check with your dealer, learn the differences and decide which one works for you to add in here. Right up front, the shore power cord, of course, and underneath that, there is a plug in case you wanted a portable solar panel on the outside. Down below, that is gonna be a cable connection. If you happen to be at a campsite that's gonna have cable, you've got the hookup right there. Now moving around to the front, you see they include a full-size spare with this off-road tire. That's a very nice feature on this tray and the bottle is very easy to get to of propane. Unhook right here, you've got 20 pounds and we showed you the foot there because you do have not only the caster, but the foot as well. And they include a really nice double wheel caster. So if you're not on a concrete pad like we are here, it's still gonna be able to move pretty easily. They do include electric jack as standard and diamond plate rock guard on the bottom. You know, the rug has great graphics. I think they have a really nice look to them. And around this side, the 20,000 BTU furnace right here. So there is a lot to see on this. It is a versatile toy hauler, lightweight. Now check out the tongue weight. That is something I wanna mention. Check out the tongue weight because it's a little over 500 pounds. So if you're limited on what you can tow, that might make a difference for you. There's so much to see here. One more thing, I just saw the step here out of the corner of my eye. Uh, this is a little different than some of the steps I've seen in other units. This is what they call a solid step. Uh, it is a Lippert product, but I really like that it is super sturdy and easy to work with. It just flips in and locks into place. It has the adjustable legs on it. So if the ground outside isn't exactly level, you just adjust it. All right, a lot to see here. Last thing, I wanna remind you that this has a fully welded aluminum cage frame. It does have a five-year structural warranty. And you've probably heard that most appliances inside trailers, they have a one-year warranty at best. And Encore 
bumps that up to two years for you. So a very nice warranty on this trailer, a good solid build, and it is ready for adventures. Thanks for watching. I'm PJ from Princess Craft RV, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.